I just want to show you how you can present headers and information on your website without resorting to like motion effects and stuff like that all the time or lotties. We are going to use a scrolling effect, so it's, it is kind of like a motion effect, but it's not completely in your face. Now, what we have here is just like, imagine this was a hero banner, okay? You got an image, or you might have an image all the way across the, you know, the section full width. You got a header, a subheader, and you got some text there. What if we wanted to make it so that the header is there as soon as the page loads up, including the image, but as you scroll down, um, the subheader and the text appears. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to subheader and I'm going to go to advanced motion effects. When I said it's not a motion effect, I kind of lied a bit there. We're going to go with scrolling effect and what we're going to go with is transparency and we're going to go with fade in. So with the viewpoint of this, and you've got to play around with this a little bit, okay, is I'm going to take the bottom one and I'm going to adjust it so it is just, um, uh, it's just invisible. If I go too much, you're going to have to scroll quite a lot before the word appears and before you know it, you've gone past the top of the page. So I'm just reducing it so it's just invisible there, about 63%. If I scroll down now, can you see what happens? The wording will appear. You've got to think of a real need to do this approach that I'm showing you here, but it's if you want to play around with understanding scrolling effects. We're also going to go to this text, and I'm going to go to motion effects again. Uh, sorry, scrolling effects. Get rid of the mouse effect there. We go to transparency. We're going to have a fade in again. I'm going to set that to be 100% there, and I'm just going to adjust this one to be roughly about there, so 52%. So what will happen is the text, the subheader will appear and then the other text will appear as well uh, below it. So what will now happen as you scroll up and down, and believe me, not everyone's gonna like this, but as you do that, the wording is there. So it's not flying in, because once it's flown in, it's flown in. And it might be that you wanna say something extra, but you don't want it to be like straight away. And you don't wanna put a motion delay on you know, five seconds, 10 seconds, because you don't know what the user's going to do. You are pretty much guaranteed that a user will scroll. You know, that's kind of textbook what happens. And they might scroll too fast and miss it. But then again, at the same time, you've got this, um, you, you've got these details appearing for you here. So you can have further information that flies in off the screen. Well, it's not flying off the screen, it's appearing on the screen. But you get what I mean by that but it's now a little bit timed into how you scroll up and down. So you might have a really powerful header with a really strong image, but you want to give more details, but rather than having it in a completely different section below or another column or whatever like that, you could just add in like a bit of a scrolling effect there. So now you see it, now you don't kind of thing. Okay, so you can play around with that. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and get scrolling.